Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Lee Chudenshin. I am the Director of Sales for the HVAC market at Kinetics Noise Control. I cover the US and Canada as my territory, and our product focus is vibration isolation, uh, wind and seismic restraint. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a, uh, a product called the KCI, which is a new product we're getting ready to release at Kinetics. Uh, we're going to make this a short and sweet um, presentation today. I know everyone's time is valuable, so uh, I'll try and get everyone back to their busy schedules as quickly as possible. If you have any questions throughout the presentation, please uh, put them in the chat box, and we'll, I'll try to address those uh, before I sign off at the end. So. Uh, the KCI isolator essentially is a uh, stands for Kinetics Compact Isolator KCI, uh, and Kinetics has had a little bit of a hole in its offering when it comes to a small, lightweight, designed wind and seismic restrained isolator for a long time. So we're really excited to bring the KCI uh, into our product offering in that in that market. So uh, it's a compact, lightweight design, as you saw from the picture. It's made of extremely lightweight materials. Um, it can come with two mounting options. Uh, it can come with a post-style mounting option, which means it has a threaded bolt. We'll get into that, show you some pictures of that. Uh, it also has an angle-style top plate as well. So it uh, gives you some options around uh, mounting the isolator to the equipment. It does utilize, utilize kinetic smaller spring family. So uh, in order to stick with the uh, compact design, we use the smallest springs we have on offer. It has a, a strong snubbing capacity and it's great for lightweight uh, to medium sized equipment. So obviously with restrained spring isolators, uh, they're classified as an ASHRAE type four. And, and this is kind of a snapshot of the current kinetics offering. Uh, these are uh, bigger strain string, uh, spring isolators. This is currently our smallest offering. And as you can see, it has quite a beefy size restraint top plate on there. Uh, and we're trying to give uh, more of an option to something that's a little smaller, more compact and streamlined. So to give you a, a concept of size difference, this is the FHS isolator right here with its big, uh, you know, beefy top plate restraint element. Uh, here you can see uh, we're an inch and a half shorter to the top plate. It's using a much smaller spring and much lighter weight plated steel material. Uh, and this uh, picture itself does show the uh, angle top plate. So when it comes to different options, the post type is going to basically have a flat plate with a threaded post coming out of the top. That is meant for equipment that essentially has mounting holes already in it. So you can uh, put the isolator through the mounting holes of the equipment uh, under the equipment and uh, you know set it on top of the threaded bolt that sticks out the top. Or if your equipment doesn't really have uh, the ability to mount to a bolt, uh, we have this angle option where you can tech screw or bolt into the equipment uh, through the angle on the side uh, or weld the equipment also uh, if that's a preferable method. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have snobbing elements uh, on either uh, two snubbing elements either side of the spring uh, and this is a three axis snubber uh, so it gives you a quarter inch movement by code in any direction that would include up or down uh, and then there is a neoprene pad mounted under the spring uh, offering this isolator as what we would uh, call dual deflection so the reason we do dual deflection is because uh, any when the equipment starts up often the frequency uh, from the equipment varies during startup and shutdown. Uh, the spring is going to handle the optimum vibration uh, at peak performance of the equipment. But during that ramp up and ramp down period of the equipment, we have a neoprene pad under the spring to kind of help with different frequencies of vibration from getting through the space. So this is a good, uh, good snapshot of both, both the offerings in the KCI family here. So with the one inch, uh, uh, one inch deflection spring family, uh, obviously we're going to have the angled version uh, and this is going to offer a 35 pound spring all the way up to an 805 pound spring. Then uh, with the two inch option, the two inch deflection option, the, the operating height goes up about an inch because we are using a bigger spring family. So this housing slightly larger 
Uh, this is going to offer a hundred pound capacity all the way up to 1,975 pound capacity. So we have a good range of spring family here. Uh, the same thing would be in effect for the post type, 35 pounds, one inch spring, all the way up to 805 one inch spring. Uh, and then with the two inch, 100 pound spring up to a 1975. So with the snubbing restraints, uh, the restraint capacity, you're going to get about a, a 1,600 pounds vertical restraint capacity from the isolator and 1,000 pounds horizontal restraint capacity. So uh, again, these two snubbing elements, we try to get them as low as possible to help with the overturning forces, uh, and it does offer good snubbing. The way this works is obviously when uh, under normal operation, when the weight of the equipment is pushing down on the top plate, the spring is compressed and is absorbing the vibration at that time. The snubbing elements, as you can see here, are actually floating. So you have a snubber here and a snubber here, and then this rubber snubber that goes through a hole that is a quarter per, quarter uh, inch larger than the, the, the snubbing element that goes through. So in any direction, uh, you're gonna hit the snubber quarter inch movement in either direction. Uh, if there's uplift, forces on the isolator, this bottom snubber right here is going to engage the housing uh, and also uh, from a downward motion as well, uh, this snubbing element is going to be restrained right on the housing. The snubbing elements are rubber, so under light wind forces, uh, if the isolator is, uh, the wind is pushing the equipment uh, and the snubbers are engaged, the vibration isn't going to transmit all the way through the housing back down to the space. In other words, we're not going to short circuit the uh, vibration at any time with the snubbing elements being completely rubber. One of the things we are going to be doing a lot of with this isolator uh, is offering it for condensing farms. So uh, we often see applications where uh, multiple co uh, residential style condensing units, or maybe it's a mixed use property, that they put what they, they call condensing farms on the roof. Uh, the issue with these condensing farms are that the equipment do operate uh, at the same frequency and they resonate and they uh, almost harmonize with each other and they cause serious vibration back to the space. So with these lightweight isolators, we can actually design like a grid system uh, to support under the isolators and support these smaller types of equipment uh, in a grid system. So that is basically uh, the summary of the KCI isolator. We are going to have these things uh, in our shop, uh, in stock, coming up next month. Um, so we will look to roll these out and start shipping the product mid to late July. Um, and we're really excited to have an offering that fits a gap that we have right now uh, with regards to much larger isolators that are offered uh, at Kinetics. So, we're excited for everyone to get access to this. Thank you everyone uh, for your time. I know it's valuable. I try to keep this as uh, short and sweet as possible, but uh, thanks for your time and uh, we're excited about the KCI isolator. Thank you.